The Jordan River has inspired and given hope to millions of people worldwide for ages. But what if we told you that after years of drying, it has dried up? Hello everyone. Join us as we uncover the incredible change in the absence of the Jordan River and the Jordan River discovery. But before we start, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for regular updates. Let's get started. Jordan River Middle Eastern Geography includes the Jordan River. It flows through Israel, the West Bank, and Jordan into the Dead Sea. Jews and Christians consider the Jordan River sacred. The Israelites crossed the Jordan River to a promised land, where John the Baptist baptized Jesus. The Jordan River is a vital source of water for the area, but due to increased demand and overuse, it has been significantly reduced over time. Pollution and water diversion for agricultural, industrial, and domestic purposes have degraded water quality and quantity. Efforts are underway to restore the river to its former beauty. Wastewater treatment and desalination plants have been implemented to minimize pollution and boost river flow. International organizations and countries are promoting sustainable water management to preserve the Jordan River for future generations. Drought, population growth water shortages, climate change, and Jordan's terrain and geology have all contributed to the problem. Scarcity indicates peril for the region and the planet. The country's major water sources lie near its borders, making water transportation time-consuming, energy-intensive, and expensive. As fossil fuel prices rise, precipitation has decreased and evaporates quickly due to rising temperatures. Hotter and longer summers have shortened farmers' harvest times. Climate change has affected Jordan hard in the past two years. The Jordan River and its main tributary, the Yamuk River, are running at less than 10% of their historical averages. Jordan's once roaring waters feed the shrinking Dead Sea. Sharing rivers with neighbors is hard. Israel and Syria have stolen water upstream for years, increasing Israel's decades-long hostility toward Jordan and making supply from these sources difficult. This makes subsurface water extraction too easy. 60% of the nation's water comes from aquifers, which are being depleted at twice the natural rate. The administration knew the risks of diminishing the water supply, but it is under pressure to meet rising demand owing to waves of refugees from Syria and other conflict zones. Over 11 million people live there, including over 760,000 UN refugees. Financially resourced people have options, but they cost. The impoverished must starve. Jordanians frequently employ private water tankers. Tankers are popular in Ammon's wealthier neighborhoods, although their costs have skyrocketed. This summer, government refilled water tanks on roofs are rationed. Rich families can fill many tanks with private truck water each week. Water shortages hurt the weakest. The poor lack water and money to afford cars. All homes must buy tanks, and even if one breaks, tragedy will come. The UN defines water scarcity as 500 cubic meters per person per year. The foolish nation gives Jordan a chance to survive, but it takes time. Aqaba, a Red Sea port city, is undergoing a huge desalination project. Buying water from Israel, a leader in desalination, is one short When they signed a peace treaty in 1994, both countries recognize the need for water cooperation, and at the UN Climate Summit in Charm El Sheikh on the Red Sea in 2021, the UAE brokered plans to have Jordan supply energy to the UAE. Ahmad protested Israel's silver for water deal. Many Jordanians who opposed Israel's occupation of the Palestinian territories found an over-reliance on Israel's water at Pleasant. But Jordan's water supply is a major national security issue and water shortages could have set up a strong U.S.-Arab alliance that has been a peaceful oasis in the troubled region. One new study predicts widespread water shortages in Jordan by 2100 unless the country makes significant changes. Jordan River drying is scriptural. Miraculous Jordan River drying like a prior generation, God demonstrates to the young Israelites his power in Joshua 3. How the Jordan River dried up has been explained many times. Landslides top this list. 
In theory, the thought is that a landslide took place upstream and Joshua simply took advantage of the landslide to cross over, but Joshua 3.13 is prophetic, and it shall come to pass as soon as the solace of the feet of the priests that bear the ark of the Lord, the Lord of all the earth, shall rest in the waters of Jordan, that the waters of Jordan shall be cut off from the waters that come down from above, and they shall stand on a heap. Joshua could not have predicted the landslide. The Israelites carried all their religious objects. The ark with its sacred items was there. Joshua 3.15 states that as they that bear the ark came unto Jordan, the feet of the priests that bear the ark were dipped in the brim of the water. For Jordan overfloweth all his banks all the time of harvest. In Joshua 3.17, the priests cast the ark into the Jordan River. The river dried up, and the people crossed over on dry land. Joshua led because the Jordan River dried up. Joshua 313 fulfilled his prediction. The Discover Israel controls the west side of the Dead Sea, while Jordan controls the east. Since 1967, Israel has controlled the Palestinian West Bank, including the northern western coast. The Jordan River flows north into the Dead Sea, supplying most of its water. Jordan is unusually colored. Jordan's Ministry of Water and Irrigation is sampling the Red Lagoon's water. They're investigating the unexplained phenomenon. Social media has lauded the photos. Bloodred water was one of the ten plagues God sent to Egypt's Pharaoh to free the Israelites in the Old Testament. The Bible says God turned the Nile's water into blood, killing fish, and making it unsafe for Egyptians to drink. Pharaoh's unwillingness to free his Jewish slaves had ten negative consequences. The Dead Sea's east bank has the blood red pond. Sodom and Gomorrah were destroyed here for being wicked. According to Southern Jordan Valley Agriculture Director Yesin Alakazes, this is formed by a sort of bacteria and red alga that thrive in salty water and change color when exposed to sunlight. This does not explain why the water suddenly turned red, whereas other neighboring pools did not, especially because the area is in sunlight virtually all year. Today, other officials told Israel that iron oxide in the water may have caused the original color shift. They did not explain how the iron oxide got into the pool or why it changed so quickly. Jordanians believed the government was hiding contamination or using the pool to dump chemicals. Southern Israel's Dead Sea is salty, east of Jordan in the Judean Desert. The lowest location on Earth developed four million years ago. That's it for today. What do you think about this incredible discovery? Let us know in the comment section. Please like and share our videos. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for regular updates.